I'm absolutely certain that some of these huge decisions, sorting out Brexit, getting through coronavirus, seeing the largest growing uh, uh, economy uh, last year, th these are decisions and actions uh, which will, in the end, matter to people. Let's break that down. Sorting out Brexit. Imagine the Transport Secretary's shock when he finds out the OBR forecast the Brexit Johnson has delivered will inflict double the damage on the UK economy of a global pandemic which has caused whole industries from tourism to hospitality to collapse overnight. The government's own Brexit Opportunities Minister has admitted implementing Johnson's oven-ready deal in full would be... ...act of self-harm. Remember, in 2019, Johnson agreed his oven-ready Brexit deal with the EU and gave Parliament this assurance. It is in full compatibility, uh, Mr Speaker, with the Good Friday Agreement. Now the UK government says the current situation is fundamentally undermining the Good Friday Agreement. We've got a border erected down the middle of our country. A border which applies checks, applies costs, applies extra bureaucracy. It's unthinkable. In July 2019, the Prime Minister made this promise. There will be no border down the Irish Sea over my dead body. Two months later, he agreed to checks in the Irish Sea. He must be furious with whoever signed up to a deal this bad. Yes, uh, I agreed it. Getting through coronavirus. Again, imagine the Transport Secretary's shock when he finds out the High Court has just ruled the government actually broke the law by discharging untested hospital patients into care homes during the early stages of the pandemic. It almost certainly contributed to the catastrophe which occurred in our care homes where we saw tens of thousands of deaths. Seeing the largest growing uh, uh, economy uh, last year. A new IMF forecast suggests that by next year we will have the slowest growth of any advanced economy with the single exception of Russia. 